To know what Pioneer Log Homes of British Columbia is about, one needs to know Brian Reed. Log home building was his childhood dream, his lifelong passion, and ultimately became his unique contribution to the world of log building. This is the story of a boy who had a dream, and from that dream, through a lifetime of focus and dedication, created what today is a highly sought after global product, the log homes created by Pioneer Log Homes of BC. It all began for Brian in the most humble fashion. He grew up in the 1950s in a single parent family, the third child of five. Money was scarce. Times were very hard. They were a closely knit family as a result. The children relied on each other, and more specifically, on a strong mother to survive. Brian's mother, Anna, held her family together with a strong Christian ethic which taught the children respect, integrity, faith, and the critical importance of family. Anna was fiercely devoted to her children. When Brian entered his second decade of life, his mother remarried. Bert Chevenier was a kind and thoughtful man, generous of spirits and instrumental in shaping the lives of the family going forward. The family increased by two at this time, two brothers, Andre and David, born in 1964 and 1965. Bert Chevenier had a love of the outdoors and worked as a trapper for the Hudson's Bay Company. He maintained a trap line that was 30 miles long. He trapped beaver during the winter months, and Brian was his companion in this adventure when he was not in school. The weekend schedule was of setting and resetting traps and harvesting furs. Every week, the adventure was the same. On the trap line, there was an old log trapper's cabin that was half along the route on the creek that served as lodging for Brian and his stepfather on the Saturday night stopover. On those particularly cold days, when the temperature could drop to minus 40 or colder, there were many occasions when the thoughts of a warm fire at the end of the long walk kept Brian moving on. The cabin was no bigger than most people's kitchens, but felt like a mansion to Brian and his dad. It was warm safe and kept them from the extreme elements. It was during this time that Brian developed his great appreciation and respect for the warmth and security of log buildings, and he dreamed of building his own log home one day. Different than many teenagers, Brian's life revolved around trapping and working to make extra money. He married his high school sweetheart in 1968 and within a year was supporting a family with the arrival of their first child. In order to provide stable support to his family, Brian relied on his knowledge of cars and entered the automotive industry. But it remained his dream to one day build his own log home. He soon discovered that log home construction was becoming a lost art as sawmills and conventional house construction had completely replaced any use of logs in building homes. Brian determined he would proceed with building his log home himself. He began studying under an old native Indian log builder from a reservation in Canada by the name of Samson Jack. Samson Jack was the only link to log building in central British Columbia. He had been taught by Norwegian immigrants during the Great Depression when there were no sawmills at that time in central BC. Building was accomplished using locally unmilled materials. Despite his unique skills in log building, Samson Jack was illiterate. This point is significant in that Samson Jack was unable to use conventional methods of measurements as he couldn't read. Everything had to be measured using strings and wires. Samson Jack held his abilities in his trade without the benefit of an education. He was a remarkable man and applied cowboy logic to his work and his life. He worked seven days a week, no stranger to 12-hour days, never drank, never complained. Samson Jack was a content man and an inspiration to Brian. With the knowledge and mentoring he received from Samson Jack, Brian was finally able to begin a tangible pursuit of his passion. He built his first log home. As Brian's family moved into their new home and hosted friends and relatives, those that came admired the craftsmanship and talked of how they would like a home of log similar to his. 
As word spread on the quality of his construction, interest in his work grew. Brian's first big opportunity came in the late 70s when he was asked to build a large log home for Jim Redekop near 150 Mile House. During the construction, Jim and Brian talked about the possibilities of taking the log home industry to a higher level and exporting homes worldwide. Brian saw that folks that wanted to live in a log home didn't necessarily want to build it themselves, and so this encouraged him to pursue the idea of creating his own business in the log home industry. Brian knew that if he was to succeed, he needed to develop his skills and techniques to the highest level. He realized that if he was to expand his business beyond building one home at a time, he would have to train others to match his skills to ensure quality when building homes and keeping up with demand. In the interest of increasing the number of people with skills, Brian undertook filming construction of a log home to be used as an educational tool for those learning the trade. He needed to develop systems to bring materials together and deliver the finished product. This need created an opportunity to develop the best training methods and courses to educate journeyman log builders. At this time, he began advocating to trade organizations and governments for an apprenticeship program in log construction and carpentry. As Brian incorporated Pioneer Log Homes, he set down the guiding principles that he felt would ensure the success of his log home building business for generations to come. The priorities of customer first, employees second, and profits third. To handcraft quality structures and never sacrifice quality for quantity. To never settle for less than 100%. To provide good paying family jobs for the people in his community and the community would support him. To maintain a family business culture and provide opportunities for his family. To continually look for new design and innovation and push the known limits of timber architecture. To begin with, he involved his family and taught them the skills to build on their own. His brothers and his children grew up around the log home construction business as a result. Brian Reed Jr., when he was not in school, worked with his dad building homes. Every week, the adventure was the same. In the early 80s, Brian asked his brother Andre, who had just finished high school, to join him. As Brian had been training him along with his son, he knew Andre's craftsmanship would meet his standards. Orders soon began arriving from the United States as the word spread of the quality homes that Pioneer was building. Their first international sale was exported and constructed in Eugene, Oregon in 1983. And then another to Flagstaff, Arizona in 1985. In 1988, the first Pioneer log home in California. The decade ended with the first home built overseas in Japan. These dates highlight the milestones. All this occurred against a background of rapidly growing domestic sales of Pioneer homes in the Canadian market. As more and more Pioneer log homes appeared, demand from those wishing to live in a log home expanded globally. Brian understood that every new log home built was a Pioneer show home. Approaching 1990, and with brother Andre firmly established as general operations manager of Pioneer Log Homes, Brian began to travel the home show circuit while developing dealerships with established home builders throughout North America and training contractors in on-site assembly of Pioneer Log Homes. During his travels, he took great interest in building techniques around North America and incorporated some of the skills he observed into his own building practices. Knowing his son and brothers were at the site ensuring a smooth quality delivery of Pioneer Log Homes gave Brian confidence in the strength of the company and the solid support for the vision of Pioneer. 1992 was a banner year for Pioneer Log Homes and Brian. Log home construction gained a higher profile in both the forest industry and the provincial economy. In this year, Brian moved from Williams Lake to reside in a Pioneer Log show home overlooking the lake at Lac La Hache. 
The building site first established at the Pioneer Ranch was moved to the present day site in Williams Lake. Pioneer Logging was formed by Brother David to ensure a constant log supply for the operation, a practice now known as vertical integration. Brian was invited to join a provincial government trade mission to Japan and Korea, included with other forest-related companies as the only log home industry-related member. Swiss carpentry journeymen were hired and moved to Williams Lake to share Swiss construction methods with Pioneer staff and help improve the quality of the builds. 1992 was an eventful year that marked a coming of age for Pioneer Log Homes. New milestones followed with homes constructed in Europe beginning in 1993 and Australia in 1996. Throughout the 1990s, Brian worked to build the vision he laid out in the 1980s developing the workforce and finding the future leaders of the Pioneer organization culminated in the 1990s. Joining Andre and the company were Brian Reed Jr. in 1991, Joel Rorda in 1992, Beat Schwaller in 1993, Peter Arnold in 1994, and Sam Peterson in 1996. This team brought energy, skill, and purpose, and remain valued team members of the company today with their building capabilities and their work as ambassadors as they travel the world erecting beautiful homes. Throughout the 1990s, Brian and Pioneer received praise and awards for the innovation and standards of quality they brought to the industry. Pioneer won recognition locally for their continued efforts, receiving the Williams Lake Chamber of Commerce Manufacturers Award in 1996, 1997, and 1999. Brian's dream of creating a training program for log home building was achieved in 1997 after the BC government asked Pioneer to develop the first curriculum and jointly announced the creation of the Log Building Apprenticeship Program an apprenticeship program consisting of four years in carpentry, followed by a two-year log and joinery specific course. By the time the pioneer group of companies ended the 20th century, they were positioned, as a result of their marketing and training strategy, as leaders in the log building industry worldwide. HGTV, CBC, CTV, and ABC have all run stories about Pioneer and their construction teams. These broadcasts around the globe have attracted the attention of those looking to live in their own quality log home. The internet created an opportunity to showcase Pioneer Log Homes and the Pioneer team developed an innovative website to provide information for an ever-growing population around the world who desire to live in a quality log home. Three building sites operate continually now, producing homes of quality and beauty. The team leaders and those building with log are guided by the principles Brian has established. Brian's determination to turn his vision into a reality has come to fruition over the past 40 years, and the company continues to grow. In the team building process of the 1990s, Pioneer brought together an efficient and skillful group capable of handling the growth generated by the internet starting from 2000 to the present day. Pioneer Log Homes continues to be recognized for their achievements, receiving the Chamber of Commerce Manufacturers Award in 2003, the Business of the Year Award in both 2006 and 2007. As BC hosted the Winter Olympics in Whistler, Pioneer stepped in to support both the Olympics and its own Caribou Tourism Association in marketing. In 2010, the Provincial BC Export Organization presented Pioneer Log Homes with the Northern BC Exporter Award. This resulted in the Chamber presenting Pioneer the Newsmaker of the Year Award in 2011. Brian Reed and the Pioneer Log Home team have been instrumental in improving log home construction globally. In the past 40 years, Pioneer has built the most sought after quality log homes around the world. Brian had a dream of a warm and inviting log cabin in his youth, then moved that dream forward in his early 20s and made it a reality in his prime. 
He has been successful due to his focus, his team, time spent, and hard work since he created his first home. He and the Pioneer team have ensured a secure future for himself and upcoming generations. At this time in Brian's life, the next generation has become the main focus of his dream. He's now concerned with giving them the opportunity in the log home industry to better themselves as well as the industry and to carry on the legacy that he has established in these first 40 years of Pioneer Log Homes of BC.